Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or should I say bonjour, I'm Lufia, welcome to my channel. So today I'm very very excited because I'm going to be reacting to the Friends Eurovision 2021 songs, like I cannot believe I'm actually saying this. Um, as you know, Friends is one of the big five countries in Eurovision. What does this mean? Well, basically this means that we're going to see this song at the grand final no matter what happens because um, big five countries don't go to the pre-selection or semi-finals. We're talking about um, UK, we're talking about France, Italy, Spain, and I forget one. Germany, yeah. Wow, France is a country that I love, personally, but also in your vision, they have very good songs. Um, last year, I, I don't even remember if they finally decided to take you know the french song or the um english version because you know i just lost track i listened to the best of me by tom lee you, you are the best in me and i listened to it in english but then i also listened to it on my spotify in french like a mixed version so I don't know what they finally decided, but since Eurovision 2020 was cancelled, never mind. I've just realized that they didn't decide to continue with Tom Lee. Tom Lee was a very handsome um, singer. I remember when I listened to that song, I was like, okay, it's not a bad song. For me, it was a very cheesy song. I don't usually, you know, listen to this cheesy songs. And then... I think that it was a very normal song, you know? So, in 2019, we have Bilal Hassani with Roi. I think the message of that song, of that song was amazing. I really love that song. I, I really I still love it. Um, but you know, for me, it was a very normal song. Like, I preferred others. But I think on stage, they really improved it, like with those dancers and La story and stuff. I think they really improved it. And I think the formula of mixing French and English is is working for them. They did also with Alma and Requiem. Then they also did it with um, Amir and... What was the name of the song, Amir? You, you're the one that's making me strong. And then in 2018, they didn't mix it, but I remember that they also released the song in English because I think the message was so important. They uh, bet on this song called Merci. Merci, merci. really like that song because of the meaning and I think they were actually my winners for 20 for 2018 and this year we're going with a girl Barbara Pravi Barbara Pravi and a song called Voila I think that's very French um, and for what I'm seeing and I'm just seeing the thumbnail of the video I think it's a ballad we kind of last year but improved because actually last year's song wasn't a very big deal so i'm just going to stop talking and start reacting so, filipinos fino fino filipino okay, now it starts oh her voice Wow. I just have, how do you say it? 
got uh, goosebumps. Wow, I think she's singing it with so much emotion that I was just so into the performance and the song and the meaning of it uh, that I just wanted to cry, like to be honest. I mean, this attitude that she has, and I think she really gets to transmit the message she wants with her voice. Her voice is just perfect. Like, I think we cannot ask her for more. Wow. Amazing. Like, Okay, it's not the typical song I would listen to, but for a performance, it's just amazing. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Like, her voice control is spectacular. Like, we cannot ask her for more. Like, she is expressing with her voice exactly what, what she's saying in the song. You can feel what she's feeling and what she's singing. The best thing I think about this song is her performance and how she feels the song and how she performs it um and also the lyrics of the song like i think it's very deep and that's what i like also the violence i really like it compared to last year i think this is a huge improvement i'm not really sure how the eurovision world will you know receive this song but definitely I think it's a very good song where feelings are the most important thing. Like this kind of reminds me to Salvador Sobral with Amar Pelos Dois. You know, it's just them naked on stage, not literally, you know, but they're naked on stage singing this song and just exposing their emotions. Like I think we really need to appreciate them that when a singer and an artist is doing that because you know like you can go to stage and have a choreography and have whatever but i think it's even more difficult you know to go to a stage like feeling naked and just expose your emotions this girl is amazing she has an amazing vocal control like i would love to have you know her expression vocal expression because i think you know she's playing a lot it doesn't sound all the time the same I mean, that was live, so I think we cannot ask her for more for Eurovision uh, performance at the grand final. I feel like it's a very vulnerable song, like, hey, I love you, I love you with everything and I give you all, voila, c'est moi. And she's begging for love and she wants to be loved uh, the way she is and with, all, with everything she is, right? So... Yeah, I think that I really like the message, I really like the song, the vocal quality is amazing, I'm just surprised and yeah, I mean I expected an English French song combined, but I think that was a very good option, definitely from my point of view it's an improvement from last year yeah that was it for my video please let me know what you think about this song if you liked it if you agree with me or if you disagree remember always with respect give a thumbs up if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more eurovision videos because they're coming i promise and follow me on instagram not to miss anything and also on tiktok because i will be reacting 
to some of your vision songs there as well. So yeah, that's it. Stay safe and see you in the next video. Au revoir.